Hi guys, in this video I want to share my experience of learning Objective-C. I've been doing uh, Java programming for years. So if you are like me, have that kind of experience and want to learn Objective-C, then uh, this video is for you. So one of the difference if, to do Objective-C is you need to have uh, a Mac OS so this is probably the first thing you have to learn and to write Objective-C you have to use the uh, Xcode you can install Xcode from the App Store also in order to run Xcode you need to have Mac OS version at least 10.7 this probably won't be a problem for most of the folks. So you can find the Exco in the category sections, developer tools. Exco, and then just click on install. It should be a straightforward process. So once you have the Exco installed, you can double click to open it. And I have it already open. Exco is, is, uh, is like the Eclipse IDE you use to build your Java program. So uh, in order to do the, you write your Objective-C program, you need to create Exco project. That's like your Eclipse project. For now, I just go start with the basic, the run creating the command line program. You can also use it to create um, things like the UI applications. But for now, just do the command line. You will need to type in your product name, that's your project name. I just type in my app. And you also need to provide the uh, company identifier that almost like the package name in Java and then you have to select the type of program you want to create you will need to create foundation project for Objective-C click next and then you can choose where you want to put your projects I just put it on desktop and the other thing, you can also create JIT repository if you have one. For now, we just leave it. So as you can see, uh, it created the program for me, created a project with the sample program. The program that we are interested in is the uh, main DOM, that's the Objective-C program. So a little bit about the Xcode, it have uh, different sections like your Eclipse, so it have the like the Project Explorer, which shows you what are the files in your projects. In the center, you have this editor, which will show, will open the file whenever you click on each of the files in your projects. Unlike uh, Eclipse and other Java program, you cannot move around this file. They are in this structure. On your right hand side, you also get this uh, widget set of panels. So, so most of them is for UI application, but I will show you some of it. It's also provide you like uh, code hintings and stuff. So you can hide those uh, tabs to get more space. So here it is, this is your, the program it created for you. And also you can change the editor a little bit by going to Xcode Preferences. You can decide whether you want to have line number. You can also change the fonts and background color and stuff like that. So a little bit about the Objective-C. Objective-C actually was uh, created on 1986 by Apple. 
it was based on the C language. Objective C is actually a superset of C. It has added, uh, in addition to C, it added uh, a specific syntax for object oriented programming. And so you can see stuff. If you are C programming, this will be familiar with you, the program. You will also see stuff like uh, add, sign, auto release pool. These are specific Objective C uh, syntax. These are actually uh, read by the Objective C compiler to generate the code differently. Also, you will see a lot of NS, really NS library like NS log, NS day, and the other thing is the string. Objective string is started with add sign and then with double quote. That almost like your Java's string object. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is um, so how do one how do you run this program? You can just click on this run button. So it will compile it and then uh, run it. Okay. And then it will show you show the output in the output window. It will print out this hello world as you can see from here. So same as the Java program, you need to have a link method. That's your entry point. You, oh, they also have this imports uh, declaration. It's almost like the import statement in Java, but this will actually import the header file. In if you're familiar with C, you declare all your libraries in header file, and then you can have the lib have your file of your class referencing the header file. You can think of this like the import statement in Java. Uh, one of the main differences, uh, you need to know pointers in Objective C, because this is based on C language. So all the objects in Objective C is a uh, pointer. Uh, what I mean by that, let's say uh, an example is like ns string. If you need to declare and create an ns declare an s string object, you will need to create a supporter my string equal to add this is how you create the object so if you take this is star asterisk that's the pointer that's a that's a pointer if you take it out then it will complain because this is not Java. In Java, you don't have to do this sign for notation. Objective C, you do. And then they also have this same uh, uh, co hinting, like it telling you this variable is never used, same as Eclipse. So, in order to call, to call the method, in Java, normally you would do this, you would do the dot notation, right? You would do this, that's how you do it in Java. Well, you would do this, my string equal to Let's see if this will work in Objective C. And it's lock. And it's lock is the locking, the locker. So you can lock your string. Nice. Yes. So um, the print now is using the C style. If you are not familiar with C style formatting, basically you use the percent sign and then you specify i for integer for object you will need to use the add sign to reference the object and then you put your objects here ok 
okay and by the way all this up all this code we will need to put in the auto release tool I will talk about this memory management later for now just put it in here and then we can compile there's a little bit shortcut you can do the uh, to run your program you can just do your do the command out so this works but the way to do objective c program is you would call it this way you would use this syntax reference your object then you type in the method so this will also work this is a standard objective c programming so to learn more about this each objects the api you can go to the quick view the moment you click on the text it will show you what are the the documentation in this case what is ns string does and if you want to learn more you can click on the reference guy and a string class reference guy which will give you tell you more about what this and a string and what are this what are these methods what are its methods you can use similar to the java doc thing you can close it and then um, the other thing is this Xcode also can provide you for is to uh, refact code refactoring. You can select a piece of code and then do refactor, extract, and then you can put your new method name. So we will basically extract this piece of code into a new function. function click preview so basically you just move this piece of code out into its own function call click save see it moved <coughs> your method out another thing you need to be uh, aware of is in Java, you can declare your method after the function call. But this is not true for Objective-C because it was based on C. So in order to do that, you need to do a trick called function prototype in order for, for you to be able to call this function before it was declared. So you will need to put this at the top so now it will be able to know this function click we'll run again build and run ok so uh, all the other construct is very similar it also have like an uh, integer type 32 bit your 32 bit integer and also have a flow there's a 32 bit folding point number to put the F to declare as a floating point so floating point basically you can put it your decimal or you can have a uh, one side integer if you want to have uh, if you you don't need to have negative number or and a double 64 bit floating point number 